Since its release, Minecraft has become the biggest game in the world, selling over 300 million copies. It's a place of limitless creative potential and for me is home to many fond memories with friends and a nostalgic sense of accomplishment every time I finish a build or farm. But despite the countless hours I've spent playing with my friends, at some point, it always feels like something's missing. And I think I have an idea of what that missing piece is, and I think Mojang does too. The main thing that's missing is a complete RPG adventure system. Minecraft has an inconsistent game difficulty in the early and mid game, and no real reason for players to continue past the end game if they aren't interested in mega builds or huge farms. Let's start by looking at the early and mid game difficulty problems and seeing what could be done to fix them. Then we'll take a look at what Mojang is already doing to help the end game and look at how their ideas could be expanded to further improve it. Most people would probably consider the early game to be everything in between starting the world and the point where you have some kind of starter base and are ready to set out to get your eyes a vendor. This section of the game is full of mostly exploration and resource gathering. Most people aren't into redstone or big builds yet, so this phase is almost completely about the RPG elements of Minecraft. For me, it's where most of the best feelings and nostalgia come from. Starting a new world brings back memories and lets me see cool new terrain generation and picture the builds I could make in the future. It's a phase of possibilities. But there isn't any danger, the game isn't hard and you can easily craft or find a bed before the first night. You can spend some time getting fully enchanted diamond armor and enchanted golden apples to be fully geared before you even try to enter the nether. All the mobs in the overworld are incredibly easy to deal with once you have that full prop 4. And there's pretty much no more gear or stat progression after that, so there's not a lot of reason to beat the game except for the Elytra. And at that point, beating the game is just a chore in the way of getting your wings. Without any risks, the rewards you get in the early game feel meaningless. The mid game starts when you set out to get your eyes of ender and ends when you kill the dragon. This is a big shift in tone as we go from relatively unguided adventure and exploration to diving into the nether and looking for structures to fight specific mobs with a goal in mind. This part of the game feels the most like an RPG to me, but this is also a relatively easy phase as the strongest enemy you find in the nether is probably the piglin brute, but you can avoid him completely by just avoiding bastions. Every other mob is a piece of cake unless you're not paying attention. You could burn or wither to death in the fortress, but with the full set of prot for diamond armor, a decent food farm, and a couple of of enchanted golden apples you got in the early game, even those aren't a problem. In the nether you also encounter your first real environmental challenge in the form of lava lakes, but again, you can just swim in it with full prop 4 diamond armor and some food. The dragon fight can be hard for some, but most people over prepare and just do the dragon fight as quickly as possible so they can get their wings. So how do we fix these problems? My first suggestion is locking gear progression behind dimension progression. Mojang could add a system where players have to find and read crafting recipe books to unlock certain recipes. The diamond armor and tool recipes, for example, could be part of the loot table for chests and fortresses, and netherite trims could be moved from bastions to end cities. They could also make an enchanting table recipe book and put it in end cities so you can only get enchantments from villagers at first. This would make the early and mid game harder as you would be forced to enter the mid game with iron armor and medium mediocre enchants, and you could still enter the end game with full diamond, but probably not full enchants. This still wouldn't make the game that hard, but at least you wouldn't be invincible in the early game. Mojang could also adjust to regional difficulty, because in its current state it's almost useless. The world reaches max difficulty after 63 in-game days, or 21 real life hours. I bet most people could beat the dragon in under 3 hours if they tried. 21 hours is way too long to reach full difficulty. Mojang could adjust your regional difficulty based on the biome you're in by looking at the quality of loot generated in structures in that biome. For example, if you're in a plains biome, the regional difficulty is low. But if you're in a dark oak forest, the regional difficulty goes up because you could find mansions with great loot. They could also consider adding a system of tiered enemies connected to regional difficulty. Picture a system where the regular mobs you already find in game are tier 1, and then add a tier 2 version that is 10% bigger, has 50% more health, and has a slightly higher chance to spawn in with enchanted gear. Add a tier 3 version that's even stronger and make the tier 2 and 3 monsters spawn with their rarity dependent on regional difficulty, and you might find yourself sticking to the planes until you have a little armor. These changes would make it harder for early game and mid game players to get end game loot from structures like enchanted golden apples, powerful enchantment books, and diamond armor. Mojang could also apply the system to the nether with biomes like the Soul Sand Valley having a higher difficulty than the nether wastes. And with no biomes in the end, they could make regional difficulty increase as you get further away from the main island. I think these changes would be a bit of an adjustment for longtime players, but since it would only make the early and mid game a little harder while not affecting your end game, it wouldn't be taken that badly. And speaking of the end game, you know how there's that trope where every server dies once the dragon is dead? 
Well, that's because they have no more gear progression left, no more story progression, and no more boss fights to do. If the players don't want to build massive farms and mega bases, their game is over at this point, and they quit to either start a new world or play a different game. I believe Mojang knows this is a problem, because the last four updates have been an effort to add more endgame content. 1.17 and 18 added more ground to work with so we can have more underground structures. This sounds to me like they made space for new underground endgame content. 1.19 added the Warden in Ancient Cities, which is an endgame boss and endgame structure. 1.20 added armor trims, which are basically just an endgame cosmetic system. And 1.21 is going to add a new structure called Trial Chambers, which sounds to me like they could be adjusted into a repeatable dungeon where spawners and loot resets every so often after the chamber has been completed. I think the Trial Chambers are a huge step in the right direction, and their core system of trial spawners and vaults could be applied to other lootable structures in the game. Picture mansions and desert temples with similar mob spawning systems as the Trial Chambers, where you have to kill all the mobs to loot them. This will make items like Enchanted Golden Apples hard harder to get, but there'll be more of them available overall as the structures can reset their loot and the spawners that come with them. Mojang would have to make it so you can't just farm the spawners by building a kill chamber around them and collecting the loot, but this could be a great way to add repeatable endgame content. And if they did that, they could also lock all their endgame cosmetic items behind these repeatable vaults. They could adjust the armor trim system by removing the crafting recipe to duplicate trims and making the only way to get them to be these vaults. They could also add other cosmetic systems like banner patterns to these structures or maybe make horse armor trims or capes or something that could be added as well to increase the amount of endgame cosmetics in the game. And the last thing Mojang could add to improve the early, middle, and endgame would be a combat overhaul with new various weapons for new combat styles, but getting into that would require a whole different video. If you're still here, you should like the video and consider subscribing if you want to see more from me. Let me know what you think of my ideas and what I might have missed that could be improved along these same lines. I think Minecraft is an amazing game that many of us love, even with all the apparent controversy and complaints it has had recently. And I make this video not as a critique, but more to envision what the future could look like. Thanks for watching. Peace.